Imagine standing on a bridge that stretches as far as the eye can see. Beneath you, the mighty Straits of Mackinac churn with icy waters, their currents as fierce as the Mississippi River. Above you, the wind howls, strong enough to sway steel. And yet, here it stands, a bridge so powerful, so resilient, it connects two peninsulas and unites an entire state. This is the Mackinac Bridge, a five-mile-long engineering marvel that almost didn't happen. For decades, it was labeled impossible, a foolish dream that could never survive the harsh conditions of the Great Lakes. But, against all odds, it was built, and today, it remains one of the greatest achievements in American engineering. Stick around as we uncover the incredible story of how the Mackinac Bridge defied nature, the groundbreaking engineering that made it possible, and why it's a symbol of resilience, unity, and innovation. You won't believe what it took to make this dream a reality. Before the Mackinac Bridge, the only way to cross the Straits of Mackinac was by ferry. And let me tell you, it wasn't a pleasant experience. The ferries were slow, unreliable, and often dangerous. In the winter, thick ice would clog the straits, halting service altogether. In the summer, long lines of cars stretched for miles with travelers waiting hours, sometimes days, to board. For the people of Michigan's Upper Peninsula, life felt isolated. Imagine living in a place where every trip to the rest of the state depended on the whims of the weather and the reliability of a ferry. Businesses suffered, families were separated, and opportunities were limited. By the 1920s, the idea of a bridge began to take shape. But this wasn't just any stretch of water. It was a four-mile-wide strait with some of the most treacherous conditions in the Great Lakes. The currents were fierce, the waters deep, and the winds relentless. Many experts said it couldn't be done. But the people of Michigan refused to give up on their dream of a bridge. Enter David B. Steinman, one of the most innovative bridge engineers of the 20th century. Steinman had already made a name for himself designing suspension bridges around the world. But the Mackinac Bridge would be his greatest challenge yet. He knew that building a bridge of this scale would require not just engineering skill, but also political will and public support. Steinman wasn't just an engineer, he was a storyteller. He painted a picture of what the Mackinac Bridge could mean for Michigan, a lifeline connecting the upper and lower peninsulas, a symbol of unity and a gateway to prosperity. His enthusiasm was contagious, and soon, the people of Michigan began to rally behind the project. But support alone wasn't enough. Steinman faced fierce opposition from skeptics who believed the bridge was too expensive, too dangerous, and too ambitious. It took years of lobbying, planning, and fundraising before construction could finally begin. Building the Mackinac Bridge wasn't just difficult, it was one of the most challenging engineering projects in history. The straits are over 200 feet deep in some places, with currents that rival the Mississippi River. In the winter, sheets of ice as thick as several feet can form, threatening to crush anything in their path. To overcome these challenges, Steinman and his team designed massive concrete foundations that could withstand the forces of nature. These foundations were built using floating caissons, giant watertight structures that allowed workers to pour concrete underwater. It was dangerous work, and tragically, five men lost their lives during the construction. The bridge's towers, which rise 552 feet above the water, were another engineering marvel. They had to be strong enough to support the weight of the bridge while withstanding winds of up to 150 miles per hour. And then there were the cables, two massive steel cables, each made up of over 42,000 individual wires that hold up the roadway. These cables are so strong, they could support the weight of an entire aircraft carrier. Construction of the Mackinac Bridge began in 1954 and took over three years to complete. It was a monumental effort involving thousands of workers and cutting edge technology. The bridge's roadway was built in sections, 
with each piece carefully lifted into place by cranes. The work was slow and meticulous, but the result was nothing short of extraordinary. On November 1, 1957, the Mackinac Bridge officially opened to traffic. It was a day of celebration for Michigan as thousands of people gathered to witness the completion of the impossible bridge. For the first time, residents of the Upper and Lower Peninsulas could travel freely between their homes, businesses, and families. So, why is the Mackinac Bridge irreplaceable? First, it's a masterpiece of engineering. The bridge is designed to flex in high winds, with the roadway capable of moving up to 35 feet to prevent damage. Its towers are anchored deep into the bedrock beneath the straits, ensuring stability even during the harshest storms. Second, the bridge is a cultural icon. It's more than just a way to cross the straits. It's a symbol of Michigan's resilience and ingenuity. Any attempt to replace it would face massive public outcry. And finally, the bridge's scale and location make it nearly impossible to replicate. Even today, with modern technology, building a bridge of this size in such a harsh environment would be a monumental challenge. If you're enjoying this deep dive into the history and engineering of the Mackinac Bridge, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to Extreme Builds. We've got more incredible stories of American landmarks and engineering marvels coming your way. And we'd love to have you along for the ride. Today, the Mackinac Bridge remains one of the most admired bridges in the world. Over 4 million vehicles cross it each year, and it continues to serve as a vital link between Michigan's two peninsulas. It's not just a bridge, it's a lifeline, a symbol of connection and unity. The bridge has also become a cultural icon, celebrated in festivals, artwork, and even local folklore. It's a reminder of what can be achieved when vision and determination meet engineering brilliance. Thanks for joining us on this journey through the history and engineering of the Mackinac Bridge. If you love this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Extreme Builds. Let us know in the comments, what's your favorite American bridge? Until next time, keep building.